let's assume we want to make a pie chart and you'll notice that down here in the marks area it is set to automatic so since we're going to make a pie chart we're going to select pie chart marks and then we need to figure out what it is we want to have showing in terms of categories in our pie chart so let's say that we're going to use market we could bring market in and we can drag it on color and then what it will do is it will give us a different color for each and every specific market and so you'll notice that this pie chart though is uh, is got the same proportion for every single market and we can actually drag over it and see it so all we really have done up to this point is assigned a color for each particular market now we also want to be able to determine what's going to drive the shape or the angle what it calls the angle of these if we want to drive portions from a, an amount say the, the amount of profit so for example let's go in and let's take profit and bring it into our chart we can bring profit in here and we can assign that so that we are going to make it the angle and so now what we've done is you'll notice that these segments of the pie chart now have actually reoriented themselves or made themselves proportional to the size of profits now you'll notice now that we have colors and we have names but these things are not showing up on our chart and so if we want to be able to bring these labels so that we don't have to mouse over then we need to use the labels command or this labels area within marks so if we want to have that showing on the charts let's take profits and drop it on labels and you'll notice now that a new item showed down here which has got the label marker as profit and then we could also uh, take our market and we can bring it down here and label and because we want to have not just the amount but we also want to have uh, labels on these markets and so now we have both the amount of profits the labels marked and so you'll see that we've got two different label operators here we've got one segment and then we've got one that is actually showing us the various colors so and then if we want to we can resize this by holding the control key down and then we can use up arrows and right arrows now I'm using the up arrows to make it bigger and it's actually resized.